Attention residents of Tampa and Miami. If you're looking to relocate in a new place or more affordable without paying high taxes along with insurance and associations have this is the best option for you in a Sebring, Florida between Miami and Tampa. Two hours each one and the best part below 300,000 with some closing costs for you. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a new tour. My name is Marilyn Caldera. You can call me Margie. And if this is your first time in this channel, first and foremost, welcome, welcome in my dear family. My mission is to show you all of the new construction projects, communities, incentives, education about real estate, some good option, and the best and the most important part, make sure you achieve the real estate goal with the best incentives, the best property in the market. So if this is it sounds like you, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more content like this every week. On today's video, I'm in Seabrins of Florida, specifically Highlands County. And from here, we are just one hour, 45 minutes from Orlando, two hours from Miami, two hours from Tampa. The most importantly, we are in a strategic location because from here, we're literally in the middle of the big three cities. Along with that, in this particular location, we are just five minutes from the Highway 27. And if you haven't heard about 27 Highway, you have pretty much everything there. You have long homes improved, you have local national restaurants, you have several uh, shopping centers in all of the area. If you wanna go fitness centers, you have uh, several options as well. And most importantly, we're just a five minutes of a Walmart Supercenter, Aldi, Publix, and even Bravo Supermarket in this area. So for me, this is a new heating gen, a new location, and of course you have the premise with Margie Realtor, your favorite realtor. Now let's get start talking about this uh, new construction property behind me. Okay, it's a three bedroom, it's a two bedrooms were sitting in a quarter an acre lot, two car garage, a thousand two hundred and forty four is a quarter feet. Okay, right here we don't have any type of association, similar products that we have in Ocala, but the best part is we are just two hours each side from Miami or Tampa. Now let's go inside to take a look at this new tour. So before we head in inside of this new construction, just to show you the front yard of this uh, property. We have epoxy flooring in this area, okay? It's not super huge, but I will tell you guys, it's a classy home for someone who uh, has a small family or just live by themselves. They just want something brand new, no nightmares. So now, let's uh, step inside. Okay, as soon as we're stepping into this uh, property, the first thing that I will take a look at my dear family is the open concept. Nowadays, this is a super common in the new construction properties. That's the motor style, okay? is more uh, simplicity. At the same time, you can get every space that connected each other. And some of the buyers really enjoy this uh, type of full plan. As soon as we head in past the doors to the left side, I have this uh, section that for me, I personally will uh, set up this area for my dining, okay? Because again, so we uh, have this area completely open, so I can use this space for like a, even like circle table, like small table to accommodate up to four people, okay? In order to don't get super crowded in and this uh, section, but it's totally optional, totally up to you. What I like also is we have a single window, just uh, one of the sides of this wall to bring and flow the area with natural light. Then immediately we jump into this other space. This space could be the perfect option for your living area. And from there, we just can accommodate your entertainment center just to the left side of the wall. We can even set up your couch, okay? Uh, your sofa and in this section probably with a center table is totally up to you. But what I'm trying to 
bring you guys is you have a huge space here to accommodate based on your request or your needs, okay? And of course, important to mention that we have the sliding door that will connect me with the patio. But before, we'll continue into this same flow. And now we're stepping into the kitchen. Obviously, the point of this section is my center island, okay? In granite countertops, we have this completely section. You even can accommodate three spots in the area and just uh, turns into a breakfast nook super convenient okay then we have a dual scene okay with a motor facet along with that we have also the cabinets that comes with the property we have a uh, good space decent space of 42 inch cabinets in this area with the black handles i really love this kind of a combination and i like this stove right here so you can see we're still missing the part here because the property has some details that they need to finish uh, but it's going to be completely done by the time that you decided to purchase if you want to do that uh the property itself comes uh stainless steel appliances we have the full side fridge okay we have the stove we have the microwave and we have the um this washer completely included in this transaction and last but not least about the area is we have a pantry here okay I always appreciate have those extra areas uh, to um, storage or items, okay? You have even three wraps connected in this area and accordion doors will go in this space. Now to the left side, um, I will continue with the next section. And here what we have is two uh, guest bedrooms and one shared bathroom. So just in front of me is uh, the entrance of my first uh, guest bedroom. For me guys, I will tell you this in a space for a queen side bed with the side tables right here also we have the um closet okay like simple closet with the wraps connected nothing you know to look more about and then we have the accordion doors in this uh, particular area okay continuing and in the next stop to my right side we will have uh, the shared bedroom for both uh guest bedrooms right here and we have a bathtub in and this uh, section where i I like the most guys is the whole ceramic tile 24 by 24 completely up to the top of this wall okay we have also the uh area here just to accommodate our items we still have those mortar handles here hardware that like that that will accommodate and combine the whole style of the property um of course lastly we have the vanity here with a single sink and the motor fasten, we have the same finishes and cabinets. And then lastly, we have the other desert bedroom. What I like about this one is a little bigger in terms of dimensions, but also the closet is also larger than the other one. So you can appreciate uh, the other one was approximately like this. And then we have this other space that will keep fix or items even better. All of the property comes with luxury and buy now for plan, totally scratch and water resistant. Okay, let's move on to the next section. Okay, the next section is gonna be uh, the garage and laundry section, but we wanna come across the kitchen to go to, into the other side of the property, okay? And just stop here and uh, talk about the laundry section, guys enough space to accommodate your wash and dry machine and then we have the wraps that are connected um, to the top of this section really well conditions a private lights private door and then we have another door that will lead me to the double car garage what i like about this car garage you know, we have the same finishes as the entrance of the property remember the epoxy flooring in this area is going to appeal uh even more especially uh this is section that normally the builders they don't take too much time in those vitas but you can uh, see all of the wall is completely painted from the bottom to the top those are uh, differentiations between one meters to the others that i always think is uh, nice to have we have the electrical panel the water here and the garage opener and in this area okay continuing it with one of my favorite areas which is the primary suite it is completely in the other side of the property as you can see completely in the corner for more privacy as soon as we step here we have the door let me close the door so you will see uh to the left side i have the room itself 
and then the rest of the areas is the inside bath and the walking closet but from here we have the space to accommodate a king side bed with no problems at all we have a space for side tables just in front of me the entertainment center a single windows with the screen protection super important we have a coach lighting in the entire property and also pre wire in case that you want to bring your ceiling fan then if we get out of this zone okay just behind me is the further walking closet right here we have good space i will say it's more than enough especially for properties with these square feet so right here we have the lights we have the rats we have the door it's still with the same uh hardwares like life hardwares and then just next to it we have the toilet or the private section for the toilet okay um the door the good um conditions here we have the fence as well it's a complete it's not super small it's a good and decent area it's gonna be divided by three different sections then last section will be my walking shower okay if you stuck with me in this walk-in shower, what we have is even more classic ceramic tile. These colors that makes the property looks even wider, open, okay, with more natural light just because of the color. And I really love and enjoy the combination with the dark hardwares, the black hardwares are here. We have the same holder here for all cleaning items. And I will tell you guys, it's good in deep space. You just have to, you know, accommodate even at the last shower door here and you will have a top and really elegant bathroom. And then just in front of me, just to finish this section, is the completely double vanity right here with two scenes, one in each side. We have like four cabinets in total right here, like pretty decent, like pretty uh, convenient. Also the window, also the mirrors, and behind me, there's a window for extra natural light flowing in into this section. Okay, and now we're moving into my completely last section out of the property, which is the backyard. Okay, now we are in this backyard. Immediately, we have the concrete slab in case that you just want trying to do like a corner line line in the future. But for now, you have the um, the concrete slab with the epoxy floor. Remember, we're sitting in a quarter of an acre lot. This is free of association. Uh, or CDD and this is one of the biggest advantages that you will have here in the Seabrooms because you will be close to your loved one to your family okay to your friends in Miami or Tampa but at the same time you will have anything to do with high taxes with high associations or even high insurance because remember insurance will chart depend on how close you are from the beach and then from here you will see a strategic location because you are just in the middle okay also this property is a septic tent but the other part is so some of you guys really don't like the well water this property has a public water and the reason why is because we also are super close to pretty much everything this is a community that is already developed if you are like scared because you want to move it in the middle of nowhere with no supermarkets or nothing like that don't worry about it here in seabreeze you will have everything convenience located for your needs okay and lastly the structure of the property is concrete stucco also shingles and under roof okay now let's go inside to talk about the numbers how much money you needed to buy this uh, property in Seabrooks, florida and the best part remember that the seller is provided five thousand in closing costs okay okay family so we finished with this tour in siblings florida remember three bedrooms two bedrooms a two car garage sitting in a quarter and an acre a completely brand new property free of associations any type of cdd or hoa and a plus of five thousand in closing costs now this builder is selling the property for two hundred and seventy nine thousand nine hundred. okay below 300,000, especially in this area with the proximity to the big city, is nothing really bad to consider. And the most importantly, the area is good, guys. You have everything that you need just five to 10 minutes away. So you can live with that. Now, let's break down the numbers for you and see how much money you had to bring 
and how more or less will be your mortgage only payment of course this is another rush but if you want to know your numbers you can click below in the description and you want to get a really quick estimate in 60 seconds depending on your particular situation but let's do and take a closer look at those numbers Okay, my dear Barry, if you can qualify with an FHA, which is the most common program, okay, you have all of the requirements, you're living here in Florida or have a job letter here in Florida, then you can apply for a FHA loan. The lower the down payment, okay, required just a 3.5% down payment. And if this is your case, you have to win $9,796, okay? That's for the FHA. In case of the taxes in the area, it's approximately 1.3, 1.2%, okay? It's gonna be approximately 3,300 per year to buy this property. Um, insurance is gonna be exactly the same. We're talking about 1,000, 1,200 per year, okay? And then with all of those numbers, including your PMI, and then your interest rate, your mortgage money payment will be more or less like this. Now, continue into the same, you know, the same field with the government loans. FHA is a government loan. Then we have VA and also we have USDA. Super important. This property qualified with a 0% down payment with veteran or just USDA loan. There's some requires uh, to apply for any of those loans, but if you have the opportunity to qualify, you can buy this property with a 0% down payment, 0% PMI, one of the lowest interest rate on the market. Remember guys, we're not in the 4% rates. We are between a six, seven, or even 8% depending on your credit score, okay? And then your particular situation and numbers will be something like this. Now then, the next option is a conventional loan it's still a traditional type of loan, but 5% a down payment because let's say that you couldn't qualify for an FHA, USDA, or VA loan with, you know, the government loans, then you have the conventional loan. And in that case, your down payment will be $13,995. And then with the rest of the numbers, your mortgage monthly payment will be something like this. Lastly, let's say that you're not completely sure about, you know, buying a property here in terms of relocate, okay? Let's say that you want to uh, relocate in the next three to four years, okay? But you still want to secure the price right now. Remember, the ways you can refine later on. But the price, you can never refine the price. The price is going to be exactly the same and that you will pay taxes based on that price, okay? So let's say that you want to secure that property right now. So in the meantime, you will use it as your second home, okay? You can buy this property with at least a 10% down payment, which will be 27000 okay? If still you had to pay PMI, that's, you know, the only, um, the only comes that I will see there. But if you have the opportunity to buy with 20% and down payment, it will be 55,000 approximately. And in that case, you will avoid completely the PMI, which is approximately a couple hundreds per month. Okay, it could be two or 300 depending on your credit, but it's also even better to just get all of the money in front of your property if you have the opportunity, okay? If you just have 10%, that's okay. If you have 50%, call me and we can make it happen. And for those of who uh, can qualify with any of those uh, traditional loans, remember that we have a DRCR or we have Ben St. Malone's. They're different options for some of you uh, didn't good uh, taxes or have different situations. Okay. I still have opportunities for you as well. For my dear sellers, we are here to do a great team to a strong team. Make sure that you can sell your property for the most value possible in the market. I have experience to get the price over appraisal value because I create something that calls a broker price opinion. 
if you ask to all of your um, agents out there, ask them if they do the broker price opinions for you when the appraiser come and you need to defend the value of the property. I do that is a part of my services and it's super important nowadays with the back end for and uh, the market. But I'm here, I'm here to make the transaction even easier for you. Relocate from Miami, from Tampa. Okay, I can help you to sell that property there and then successfully relocate in Central Florida or even in Seabreeze. So give me a call if you need more information. Remember my point and context is all like this, a QR code, or even go to the description, all of the links to communicate directly with me. I'll see you in the next video, my dear family. Ciao, ciao.